is going on, everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in to Ben Travels TV. And coming up next, we continue our Florida family vacation as we head to downtown Orlando, Florida. We're going to take a quick drive around, check out some landmarks before we continue our travel to Florida and the west coast of Florida. You guys aren't going to want to miss this one, so you got to stay tuned. <laughs> you guys welcome back to my channel hit the like button hit the subscribe button and hit that bell so you get notified every time we drop a new video okay so we are located inside walmart in kissimmee florida all right so we just left walt disney world we saw the fireworks show you guys can see the link in the description and watch those videos on my channel but what i thought was so cool is they had so much beach stuff which is why we are here because we're going to head to clearwater and we're going to hit those beaches on the florida west coast in the future videos to come all right so i'm originally from southern california we don't even have this beach stuff in walmart in california so it was so cool to see this boogie boards and and beach towels and sandcastle stuff all over walmart so all right you guys now we had fun at walt disney world and magic kingdom we we're at our hotel i gave a review of this hotel if you guys want to check that out link in the description it was time to go so we are going to head out to downtown orlando florida and then after this we're going to head to one of the most famous puerto rican restaurants in the entire state of florida so be aware of that video next all right so downtown orlando absolutely beautiful still rebuilding still adding some things now the population of the city of orlando is over 309,000. now orlando florida may be known for Disney World and Universal, but it's known for other things as well. So this Central Florida region attracts around 60 million visitors every year who come for the warm climate, the world famous theme parks, the shopping malls, the golf courses, and the nightlife. Okay, it's one of the fastest growing cities in the entire United States, especially its metropolitan areas. All right, you guys, so it was raining, the weather wasn't great, but we just wanted to go downtown explore it check it out a little bit and this is a quick video just a quick drive through i'll check back with you guys in a little bit So one of the things that we like to do as a family and one of our traditions is to take a family picture in front of every postcard mural that every city has that we visit. So this is a thing that we like to do. We saw this big, beautiful mural and we took a beautiful family picture.
all right you guys so we are approaching the amway center all right so the amway center is an indoor arena located in downtown orlando florida it is the home to the orlando magic of the nba okay so previously they used to play at td waterhouse and the amway arena but this one opened in 2010 is a newer arena for the orlando magic now i was having feelings of nostalgia because i remember getting flashbacks i grew up as a huge michael jordan fan just like a lot of other kids and i remember he retired after they beat the phoenix suns in the 1993 nba finals when he came back to the nba i remember they made the playoffs jordan was wearing number 45 and they lost in the second round to the orlando magic who were one of the best teams in the nba at the time they had none other than shaquille o'neal shaq and penny hardaway on their team they lost in the second round and man i had beef with the magic but i respected the orlando magic but they sent michael jordan home and after that michael jordan and chicago bulls won three straight titles before he hung up his jersey in the rafters with the chicago bulls in 1998 but that was just a quick fun fact for you guys lots of great players have played for the orlando magic including tracy mcgrady dwight howard and many others All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed that video of us driving around downtown Orlando pretty quickly because we had somewhere to be. We are actually heading to what some say is the best Puerto Rican restaurant in the entire state of Florida. I'll links in the description to that video and don't miss it because it will be the next video to drop on Ben Travels TV. Continue to watch as we drop even more videos in the state of Florida as we hit beaches, restaurants, hotels, and much more more so hit that like button hit the subscribe button and i'll see you guys on the next one i'm out